There sure are a lot of cybersecurity job openings, but nobody's hiring. Well, they are hiring. It's just that companies only want to hire qualified candidates. Well, why don't they just hire people and train them afterwards? That does make logical sense. However, there are two reasons companies don't really train for cybersecurity roles. The first reason being, most companies don't actually know how to train for the positions they want to hire for, and two, if they do know how to train, they don't actually want to spend the time and energy to do it. Well, that doesn't make any sense. How are new people supposed to get hired and do their jobs well? That's actually a great question, Billy. I think sharing some of my past experiences will help answer this question. My first cybersecurity job was a security analyst at American Savings Bank in Hawaii. They were trying to set up a security operations center, or SOC, as part of their new security program. After I got hired, they basically told me, Okay, we want to set up a SOC. We've already purchased logarithm for our SIM and force point for DLP and our web proxy. Please set those things up. Wait, so how did you know what to do? I didn't know what to do. I just had to do my best to figure it out. I leveraged vendor documentation for technical info and best practices, as well as a bunch of random Reddit posts or whatever else I could read. I mean, I guess that makes sense for somebody who's already in the position, but why would they hire you in the first place without having prior experience? Again, Billy, that's a great question. I'll answer that at the end. For now, let's move on to the next job. My second cybersecurity job was a cybersecurity analyst at Microsoft, though it was more like a technical program manager role. At that point, I had never done program management before. Microsoft wanted to design some security checklists for the cloud platform Azure, but the interesting part was they didn't actually know what exactly they wanted in the checklist, how to format them, or what services to start making the checklists for. If your employer didn't even know what they wanted, how were you able to do your job well? Well, I just spent time with my manager trying to understand her responsibilities and goals. Then I looked at other similar checklists, aka benchmarks, and tried to formulate a Microsoft Azure version of those. The first draft of what I came up with wasn't perfect, but it gave my boss and upper management a good starting point that we used to move forward with. Again, I guess that makes enough sense for someone already in the position, but it doesn't explain why they would hire you in the first place, especially when they didn't even have a clear vision of their end product. Again, Billy, that's a great question, but again, I will answer that at the end. So the last job I want to talk about was a vulnerability management program manager position. I was hired to stand up a vulnerability management program from scratch, something I had never done before. So, how did you know what to do? Well, I just read a lot online, including some documents from Gartner, Reddit, various blogs, and even some NIST publications on vulnerability management. After gathering enough information, I created a high-level plan, discussed it with my boss, and then just started executing on it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still waiting to hear how you tricked all these people into hiring you. Tricked them? Hmm. Well, that's actually not a bad way to look at it. Okay, so tell me, why are all these companies hiring you when you didn't have the experience they needed, especially when they don't offer any training? So the answer to this is actually really simple. You just need to instill confidence that A, you'll be able to figure most things out, and B, you'll be able to get along with everybody. That makes sense, but how do you convince them that you're going to figure things out? Okay, think about it this way. If I've been baking cakes for six months straight and you happen to taste one and love it, do you think I could make a decent apple pie if I had a couple months to practice? Yeah, but what does that have to do with cybersecurity? Well, if you think about it, if you've done something already of equal or harder difficulty than what the company wants to do, it makes logical sense that you'd be able to execute on what they actually want, or at least be able to figure it out. The easiest way to do this and make it actually tangible is to do some relevant projects, put them in a GitHub portfolio, put that on your resume, and then talk about them during interviews. Relevant projects? What did you do? Well, at the time of my first cybersecurity job, I had done several projects with Active Directory, and I spent a lot of time practicing pen testing in a lab environment. I added both to my portfolio and talked about them extensively during interviews. Got it. So I just need to get good at baking cakes, right? Yes, exactly. Baking a lot of cakes, but don't forget to put the best ones on display. <laughs> 